Hey guys, I'm in Las Vegas for a CES. I'm not sure what to expect here, but this is the world's biggest and most powerful tech event, where we'll definitely see new products and technologies in all of consumer electronics. I'm excited to be here to experience it for the first time and share it with you all. CES 2024, let's go! First off, we have the Aero HT eVTOL flying car concept developed by Xpeng. It looks like a supercar in its ground mode, that is, until activating air mode. Its propellers that were folded into the back of the car will come out and initiate fly mode. We're not seeing airplane wings here. Xpeng has decided to use drone-like propellers to gain flight. <laughs> Next, we have transparent displays and TVs. They were everywhere at CES. At Samsung, they launched their new micro LED TVs, which use the world's smallest microscopic self-lit RGB LEDs. And they had a transparent TV showcasing those micro LEDs as well. The most stunning showcase for transparent TVs was by LG. Their claim to fame is being the first 4K wireless transparent TV. The most impressive thing about this display were the moving panels, which really shows how there is depth to the picture, almost like 2.5D. Something really cool in line with the transparent displays is this company that develops PDLC film. PDLC film is liquid crystals arranged in a pattern, and when electric current is applied, the crystals react to change them from opaque to clear. This technology is being used for privacy glass, but what this company has done is make the film able to display media. And what they have shown here is their film applied to a window. How cool is that? Over in food tech, there were so many automated food services. A robot vending machine for your boba? Yeah, that's there. Or how about automating kitchen cooking? I'll still be manning the microwave though. How about automating your home beer brewing with the Igulu brewing machine? Okay, this is something I wouldn't mind having at home. It's the Barsis 360, an automated cocktail crafter. After you've selected the drink you want via the app, the Barsis will dispense the appropriate amount of liquids and mix them. Now time for some drone soccer. Blue is on the defense. Can red break through? Red makes a break for it and scores. Next is one of my favorite pieces of tech that I saw, the Mudra Band. It's not just any watch band. The inner band has sensors which detect and interpret biometric signals generated by your nerve. These signals are then translated into digital commands allowing you to control your devices with just finger movements and hand gestures as the interface. While there's no touchscreen on MacBooks, this would effectively make the MacBook have an air gesture interface. Me, 
Up next are the haptics gloves, which are gloves that give force and tactile feedback. These are the most advanced haptic gloves that have hundreds of microfluidic actuators across the fingers and palms. It has an integrated tendon system that can apply up to 40 pounds of resistive force. So when touching and interacting with virtual objects like in a game, the objects will feel real. In home office and ergonomics, this so-called 3D desk is a complete workstation that will automatically adjust the monitor to match your eye level and posture at the push of a button. If the 3D desk wasn't flashy enough, take a look at the Cyber One All-in-One Height Adjustable Gaming Desk by LiveTab. This desk is customizable with add-ons including an RGB light bar, lift speakers, smart coaster, perforated backboard, monitor arm, and more. Maybe we're just looking for a comfortable chair. For all of us that sit at our desk all day and night, a gaming massage chair will really help de-stress the tight neck and back. Samsung reintroduces Bali, an AI companion robot that acts as your personal home assistant. Not only can it help with all your connected home devices, Bali can move around and display anything on its own built-in projector. It can display things like a video call, workout routine, or bring up a recipe video while you're cooking. For other types of bots for your home, there's a lawnmower bot by Momotion that can handle all types of terrain with its all-wheel drive system. And it'll make sure to avoid any of your cute obstacles with its smart avoidance sensors. We're also going to need something to clean the pool. The Ybot S2 is the world's first underwater, self-docking, and inductive charging cordless pool cleaner. Honda showed off their new Zero Series concept cars in their goal of redefining mobility from zero. Their flagship, the Saloon, is super sleek and with a minimalist interior. And also shown was the Space Hub, a minivan with lounge type seating. Both cars will feature automated driving and advanced AI sensing and monitoring. Hyundai unveiled the Mobion an EV which features their next-generation e-corner system motion technology. The system enables wheel rotation that allows sideways and diagonal motion and pivot turns. If you've ever had trouble parallel parking, this car can get you in that space. Okay guys, CES was so amazing and really, really huge. It was literally impossible to see everything, even with three days there. For my first time at CES, this really was where all the players from around the world, from major and even the little guys, to come and show what the future of tech is. I had so much fun seeing and trying new products, and I can't wait to see what's in store for next year. And what the CES AI fortune teller is telling me, I've got big things coming to the channel. Hey guys, we're closing it out here at CES 2024. So see you guys next year.
Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. See you in the next one.